I do think there was more pairs though than they were letting on because I think when pictures first resurfaced of this shoe, people were like, what? Like, like, how are we going to get all of them? Yes, people, how are you doing? Darren Bent here with another video bringing you for the YouTube channel. As always, here, it's down here, by the way, Darren Bent. I'm going to try and get you guys, as I always say to you, come on, let's do it together. Uh, I'm going to try and get you guys to like and subscribe this video, hit that notification bell. So when I drop one of these videos, you guys will hear about it first. Again, it's been a mad, mad year so far, 2023. We always knew it was going to be, certainly with the Jordan brand and then it being Air Max Day in, the, in, in March with some of the Air Max releases, the big bubble that came out. There have been some crazy drops so far this year. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking Year of the Rabbit. I really enjoyed that release. The Craft Jordan 4s, they were nice. Even the Panda Jordan 1s, uh, the high tops, they were a lovely, lovely shoe. But there's been so many. But if I'm honest, this shoe that I'm going to show you now, I think it's at the top of the pile right now. Um, I need you guys to tell me what you think, whether you think this is the shoe of the year. I think so far for me, you've got the Reimagined 3. They even mentioned them, Jordan's, the, the Reimagined. They're up there as well. But I think when you look at this particular shoe I'm going to show you, um, the demand was crazy. I do think there was more pairs though than they were letting on because I think when pictures first resurfaced of this shoe, people were like, what? Like, like, I mean, are we going to get hold of them? Then a lot of people that I spoke to, they managed to get hold of it relatively quickly. So for me, we're going to talk about right now, in my personal opinion, so far, the shoe of the year. Here it is, the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green. Absolutely lovely shoe. Retail for £204. Shout out End. They're the guys who looked after me, as always. I think they're going for about £328, £330 now on StockX. Um, so yeah, for crazy money. But when you start getting into the detail of the shoe, I mean, it is absolutely perfection i mean the colorway has got a similar block into the shoes like the military blue that we saw released the fire red and the military black i mean the cell and the white shoe gray suede around the toe the pine green pop-up color absolutely love that color little hints of red in there as well on the tongue the airbag and the insole it has that usual tongue label upside down air jordan at the back the sp branding accompanies the nike swoosh on the heel tab sp have made some tweaks to the j4 in order to make it more skatable which i think is really really important because at the end of the day it is a skater shoe this shoe brings together two of Nike's most renowned shoe design pioneers, Tinger Hatfield, of course, and Sandy Bodecker. I mean, when you look at the, the shape of the shoe as well, it looks like they've gone back to the original 89 release. And you can tell that from the toe box. I mean, when you compare it to other um, Jordan 4s, I think this one's made to fit, fit your foot. Easy for me to say. It's easy to fit your foot better uh, with this shoe. If we, if we pull out a retro Jordan 4 here, let's go for the... The UNC Jordan Blue, which is another big shoe, by the way. You know that. And you compare it, you can quite, see, quite clearly see, look at the toe boxes. They're, they're completely different. Um, you wouldn't skate in these, but they've made these available so you can skate in them. I mean, this Jordan 4 is not what you'd say is typical for skating. I mean, the main change is that the overall shape was based on the 89 original. The hard plastic was changed for a softer, more flexible rubber. There was extra cushioning that was added to the ankle and the tongue. Also, the air in the forefoot was stripped out for better board feel. And the gun was added to the outsole for grip. So as I was saying, for me, this is the shoe of the year so far. I know we're only in March and soon to be April. I had that many people, as I said, calling me saying, could I help them get a pair? Um, unfortunately, I couldn't. I got helped a couple of people, but but absolutely lovely shoe. I've spoke about the detail and a little bit of history of the shoe. Um, the most comfortable Jordan 4 I've worn in a long time. Uh, this one's brand new. I've obviously got two pairs. I like to obviously get two if I can. Again, shout out end. I like to wear one and then save one. There are rumours that there's going to be different colourways of this, which will be really, really intriguing and to see how they, what they do, what colours they come with. But this shoe here, but the green off the white it is absolutely popping. You guys need to let, I need you guys to let me know what you, you think of this shoe. Did you manage to get a pair? Um, as I said, I know they're, they're quite limited, but I don't think they're as limited as people were saying at one stage because I think it only released in sneaker shops, in skater shops first, then it was other shops as well. So really really good shoe you guys let me know if you manage to get a pair what you think is it your shoe of the year so far uh, i know a lot of people will get, it's going to be between this and the reimagined threes i'd imagine maybe european size it's going to be air max is going to be thrown in the mix but from a worldwide perspective because of the reimagined threes they're an iconic shoe they're going to be in the mix as well but these it's the first time we've seen sb and nike jordan 4 together and again they've absolutely smashed it so you guys let me know in the video what you think you enjoying the content you enjoying this shoe uh, you're going to try and get it. If you haven't got it, can I convince you to try and find a pair for good money, of course. And yeah, is this your shoe of the year? Hit me up in the comments underneath this very video. Let me know that you're enjoying the content. I love the engagement. I will say to you at the end of every single video, if I can convince one of you to go out and purchase it because you was on the fence and you do, 
then listen, we're, we're, we're doing our, our work correctly. So we're going to keep bringing you the videos and the content that you love. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Keep watching the videos. Keep helping me grow. Let's all grow together. Uh, most importantly, enjoy your day. Peace.